Hi, and thanks for uh, giving my website a look. So first, to answer a question I get very often, when you sign up, I don't use your email. It's just a way to track who's who within the system. Uh, the only time I send anything to that email is if you forget your password. Uh, it's safe for students and, it's, and teachers won't be reminded to use the game or send an email about anything. I'm not selling the email. Uh, I don't send anything out, so you can rest assured about that. During the game, students will answer questions to get different rewards based on the part of the game that they're in. During the fur trade, which is the first part of the game, they will gain moves. They can move to gain lands or to talk to First Nations so you can trade with them or fight them. If you fight the First Nations, they die so you can't trade with them again. If you trade with them, you lose guns but gain fur. Uh, there's also an option during this time to fight other players. Rest assured that only those that initiate the fight gain or lose anything. This avoids students being picked on in class. The second part of the game is the Seven Years War. Now the fur trade is still on during this part, but now you have to hire generals to defend different forts. The better the general you hire, the better the defense will, will uh, be for that general. However, the more expensive that general will be for the most part. The third part of the game is the War of 1812. Now this is somewhat historically accurate, meaning the more the students know about the battles, the more likely they will be successful. Uh, if the Americans get beaten easily, you don't need that many troops. If they fought really hard and you ask them to surrender before that battle, you will lose men. Um, students will research battles before entering them so they don't have unnecessary losses. This is what I saw when I ran the game. It's class discussions as well. Now, there are set questions, but teachers have the options to add questions if they prefer. They can as even assign them by chapter. From my experience, students will rush to see who can have the most guns, the most land, the most money. They'll go home and they'll answer questions for hours at night. I've had a kid answer uh, 2,000 questions one night over a four hour period. This is how they gain moves or money depending on the game, so that's, they want to be successful with that. It's a simple enough game, so anyone can learn to play within a few minutes, and it opens the class up to, to deeper discussions. The benefits, which I found from using the game, was higher engagement from students, especially boys, better understanding of key terms, which led to an average increase of test scores of more than 27%, more engagement during class discussions, more inquiry about surrounding topics such as explorers, different First Nations groups, and what life was like during that time for traders and soldiers, and better questions asked during those class discussions as well. If you have any questions, please contact me. My email will be on the screen. I hope you enjoy the game.